some of the things that we see taking place on the college campuses, I think that uh, that's very dangerous, has to do, you know, with the activism, Antifa. Uh, I think with the Black Lives Matters, that, uh, that a lot of that is being driven by people that are totally Marxist, and everything is about race. And I think that we have to be careful that we don't allow um, the racism, you know, that we know what's wrong, and we're reaping the effects of the racism that goes back to slavery. And I mean, it's like it's an albatross around America. We never seem to get away from it. But we have to come to the point, especially as Christians, where we do see each other as brothers and sisters. And so I think that on some college campuses, all sorts of things are taking, pl are taking place. Um, and a lot of it, I would say that there's almost like a reverse racism against people who are conservative, people who are Christian, and a lot of people, you know, who are white, uh, with all the talk about white supremacy and, you know, the white race needs to be destroyed. And a lot of this is coming from white liberal professors that believe that how you bring about a better world is that you have to abolish any form of whiteness. Uh, that whiteness is evil, it's the root of all evil, and a lot of that's being spoken on college and university campuses, and when it comes to our Christian children that go off to college, there's a lot of shaming that takes place during orientation, and they're shaming about race, they're shaming that takes place about uh, being Christian, they're shaming that takes place about being conservative, and I think it's important that we stand up to it, and that we cooperate, I mean, people are already standing up to it, like David Horowitz has been at this for a long time, but there's the College Fix, uh, and this is an organization of conservatives where they have reporters on almost every campus, and these reporters record what's taking place in the classroom, or the syllabi, and they report it, it gets national attention. Uh, the campus reform, uh, they have publicized a lot of things that have taken place against Christians, against uh, conservatives, uh, uh, or things that are taking place with regard to classes. I mean, just things that you would never think would be taking place in America. And what I have found on college campuses is that it's no longer anything about being a marketplace of ideas, that when they come in for orientation, they're being taught what to think, not how to think. And I think that on a lot of campuses, the conservative students are getting the better education if they survive because they have to be so strategic. They have to know the arguments of the political left. They have to know what they believe. Either they will be won over or they will come out you know, much stronger because they have to navigate in those waters. What I find with uh, many of the liberal students on campus is that they, have, they come in as freshmen and they know everything. They've memorized the answer to all the great issues of the world and they can go through some, if they take the right courses, all they have to do is regurgitate those answers. And for the conservative students, that's not the case. They really do have to be better. And, uh, and so, but everyone's getting shortchanged in the process. And I think that um, we have to be careful about where we spend our money. And uh, in Christian universities like this, if they're teaching a biblical worldview, I mean, it's a great foundation for your child, but your child may want to go to law school, and they may want to go to medical school or some other professional school. They'll be in that different environment, but hopefully they will be trained enough in worldviews and what they know, that they will be able to survive what comes at them, but they have to be strategic. And, uh, and so it's about race, it's about uh, you know, class, it's about religion, especially when it comes to Christianity, and um, I'm not sure, you know, how everything, I know how everything ends in the Bible, but I'm not sure how everything ends with American academia. But I do think it's important for us to be aware uh, of what's taking place.